It crushes my heart. My boys don't even want to go see their grandmother until the tombstone is there. 17 months after a local woman died from COVID-19, her daughter says she has to grieve twice now because her mom's headstone still hasn't been placed. She says her family hasn't gotten anywhere with this until Fox 4 News started asking questions this morning. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax. Russell Colburn's here now working for you with a story you'll see only on Fox 4. Russell, this is a growing problem. Yeah, we've reported on this extensively. Families waiting months, even years, just to have a chance to properly visit their loved ones. A lot of this stems from supply chain problems and staffing shortages in the quarries. This daughter says she won't stop asking questions until her mom's headstone is where it belongs. She drove the school bus for over 25 years. She was the best mother, the best, the greatest grandmother. But yeah, I really miss my mom. Jessica Taylor says her mom, Patricia, passed away from COVID-19 in December 2021. They took her and I never see my mom again. She died the day before my birthday. <laughs> she died on me the day before my birthday. Patricia Taylor's burial expenses were covered with her life insurance, and Jessica helped design this headstone for her mom. I really love how they put the school bus on there, and then our picture was going to be right there to it. I love that, but I, where is it at? You know, where is it at? That's the problem. Despite this paid invoice from just days after Patricia Taylor's death, there's no headstone at her gravesite at 12 Gates Memorial Gardens in Kansas City, Missouri. Fox 4 News has told you about other families with issues with this cemetery. When we asked if they could clear this up Tuesday, a representative said, quote, we're not interested and we don't have a comment. I, mean, I need my mama's tombstone to be out there like tomorrow. Whatever, we done went without Mother's Day. Her birthday was April the 10th. We done went without it. But also Tuesday, the funeral chapel, Lawrence A. Jones and Sons, told us the headstone is scheduled to arrive the second week of June, citing that pandemic-related industry-wide backlog of at least 12 months. He also contended the family did not approve the headstone until November 2022, which Jessica Taylor says is flat-out wrong. She says she chose a less expensive expensive concrete headstone after being told that could be delivered more quickly. Going to, my mom is not going to rest. I'm not going to rest until she has a tombstone there. In addition to the calls, I also emailed 12 Gates and never got a response. I reached out to two regulators here, the Missouri's Office of Endowed Care Cemeteries, to see if they have any complaints or open investigations. I was told even if they did, it would be confidential. The Missouri Attorney General's office had no record of complaints, but encouraged people to reach out to them if they ever believe they're being scammed by a business.